I'm your daddy. <laughs> you probably know that. John Exile, bass guitar. Ford Pool. Lead guitar. Uh, Timmy the Hitman Brown is uh, smoking weed. Uh, <laughs> we're mad at him because he's smoking our weed. But we'll catch up with him soon enough. You'll gag him later, right? <laughs> <laughs> So, how's Rock on the Range been so far? It's awful chaotic and media right now, but... <laughs> cold, and, cold and wet so far, man. But uh, I'll tell you that uh, it's been, um, you know, just something we're happy to be a part of. You know, glad to be here and uh, glad to be taking the stage on the Ernie Ball stage. And we just can't believe that AEG had the balls to let us out here like this. Somebody must have flipped their lid or something. They done gone crazy at AEG. But we want to thank Rock on the Range and everybody associated with it here. And... Uh, Thank them for thinking of us, and um, we're here to do our job, baby. They only gave us a 30-minute set, so we're going to go out there and uh, make some easy money, I think. <laughs> awesome. Well, I just caught your show in Philadelphia not that long ago. It's home base for us, so it was awesome. Like, So we're definitely looking forward to the right set on. here. Right on. Right on. <laughs> so are you ever surprised which of your songs fans tend to gravitate towards the most? I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, like whenever you got people talking about singles and then you got you know, people like ESPN or PBR or something like that want to use a song for something. You can always kind of tell what songs are those are going to be. But just because it's a single or it's one of those songs that's being promoted in a certain way for a product or something, it, you, you always know the fans are going to gravitate to something totally different than that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, one song off of our first album, Pride of Texas, Drug Dealer, that song, you, can, you can't take the stage without somebody hollering, Drug Dealer! And I love it because that I know right then where I'm going to get my weed at that night. <laughs> that dude right there is proud to be your drug dealer. Any comments? Oh, man. Nobody knows about I can't. I'm in a witness protection program. I'm not even supposed to be here. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You're blowing your cover. It's over. It's not really me. It's not really me. So can you guys talk a little bit about the new album? It's due out in June, right? Right on. We did some recording down in um, Arlen Studios, Willie Nelson's place down in uh, Austin, Texas. But right now we're finishing and finalizing up here in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, we should have everything wrapped up by the middle of the next week, hopefully. Um, we actually just left Nashville to come up here and kick everybody in the neck here at Rock on the Range and get back down there. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> get back down there and finish everything. I felt like I was fishing there for just a second. Like, we'll reel this one in, y'all. We'll reel this son of a bitch in. And um, there's a big one. And um, I think that as um, soon as we get that wrapped up and go down there and take care of Rocklahoma and then get out on Mayhem, we should have a single getting pushed as fast as possible. Hopefully the album will be out June 22nd and everybody can awesome. purchase it and put it in their CD player or hell, just download that shit. <laughs> I was going to ask, can you take me in the studio for one or two songs in particular and tell me what the mindset was like? Well, I got this, we did this one song called Rock Ain't Dead, and it's just, uh, it's a real good rock and roll song that we wrote, and it's just letting everybody know that uh, rock and roll has been in rehab. It's not deceased or dead, it's just been in rehab. And Thank you, somebody needs to say it. Yes, and, and, and T.H. Back now, <laughs> it's not dead, and actually, like Nikki Six, it will rise again. <laughs> and uh, we're here just to make sure that everybody knows that rock ain't dead, and that um, it's just our way of uh, letting letting the world know that uh, music like that still exists, and uh, we're happy to bring it to the masses. Hopefully, that uh, everybody out there will go out and get it, and I'll be able to buy like a new pickup truck or something. <laughs> If you had to list one thing that would be the most misunderstood thing about Texas Hippie Coalition, what would it be? Shit, I think everybody's got us figured out to a T. <laughs> it's not hard to figure us out. You know what I mean? It's like uh, we're an open book for damn sure. Uh, I know everybody knows that, uh, you know, like when we come in, uh, it doesn't matter how many rock stars are there because, you know, we're not rock stars. We're just dudes in a band trying to make it, and we can walk into a room full of rock stars, and they all know the party begins now because we're here to smoke all the weed drink all the liquor and hit on everybody's girlfriend because these rock stars got pretty fucking girlfriends they're crazy bringing them with them because <laughs> they're on stage they can't stop us yeah, <laughs> yeah you're doing something in the bus while they're right <laughs>
What's your name? <laughs> That's great. So you guys have mayhem coming up for the summer. Sure enough, sure enough. Looking forward to it. So what's up after that? After that, we're hoping to take off uh, with some big bands. Um, I think we got a couple of shows with uh, Slipknot in California, and then we're hoping that um, we're if we got a beg or whatever, you know, we'll lie about it because I. Used to, I, I would lie and tell everybody we were going to open for Black Label Society. And then finally, Black Label contacted us and said, well, hey, why don't y'all do some shows with us? And we're like, hey, that line shit worked out. So I started I started going around lying to everybody, telling everybody we were going to open for Leonard Skinner. Sure enough, Leonard Skinner called. So now I've been lying to everybody, telling everybody we're going to open for Judas Priest. <laughs> so hopefully Judas Priest will give us a holler. If not, uh, we'll be doing a show with Snoop Dogg and Willie Nelson soon. Not really, that's a lie, but I hope that show happens too, man. That'll be fucking... I hope that happens. Are you kidding me? I figure if you got THC there, Snoop Dogg and Willie will show. Why not, right? That's ideal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys so much for taking thank a couple you, minutes to speak heart. with me. Thank I appreciate you. it. Is there any awesome. comments with fans? Man, we love... We, we love... Fans. Keep loving us. Yeah. We, we love Pennsylvania, you know. Um, we love being out there, you know, and, and uh, Philly. Of course, Pittsburgh's. Uh, I hate to say it because I'm a big Cowboy fan, and I hate the Steelers. But I have I have toured. Uh, I think it's Heinz Stadium. I have I have toured the stadium, and uh, we love coming to Pittsburgh. Uh, big shout out to the Altar Bar there. We love ya, and uh, we hope to see uh, Philly again soon. Um, love ya. Awesome. Thank. You.